If you've completely overcomplicated your Tana workspace, let me show you how to simplify it by setting up a bullet journal system that will free up your mind, help you to focus and organize your day in minutes. Hi, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos to help you build your personal knowledge systems so you can turn your personal knowledge into powerful ideas. Now, I love the bullet journal system. It's so simple, yet such a profound way to get things out of your head so you can be more present and focused throughout the day. And while traditionally the bullet journal is done with pen and paper, I prefer to use digital tools to make things easier for myself. And I think Tana is the perfect tool that's almost designed exactly for bullet journaling. So in today's video, I'm going to cover how to set up Tana as a bullet journal to rabbit log your days, how to configure your day page to pull in everything relevant to the day, and how to use Tana Capture in the process with two simple commands so you can capture things everywhere. So let's go. Now, Tana feels like it was made for bullet journals rapid logging system. Firstly, every time you open up Tana, you're at today's page, which means you can just start jotting things down. Secondly, Tana's outliner mode is perfectly designed to simulate the bullet points in the bullet journal. And thirdly, super tags make it so easy to categorize your entries. So rather than using symbols in a physical notebook, you just add your super tags. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is set up your rapid log super tags. So in the bullet journal system, there are three types of things that you capture uh, every day that kind of encompass most things that you're going to capture. OK, so that is tasks, events and notes. And so we want to create a super tag for each of these three things so that you can rapid log really easily and then be able to find things later. So let's do that. So first first things first, we're just going to add a new super tag for each of these. So um, <clears throat> you just type in hashtag and then um, a task super tag for this uh, video. I'm going to call it tasks and it won't exist so then you want to create and apply all right so you've got tasks you want to do the same for events okay so then we add events and then we also want notes oops or note all right so now we have our three super tags now you can just do that and you could easily get by but we're going to add a couple of different fields just to make it easier to find things later um, and to categorize things easily. So for tasks, we're just going to uh, right click and press configure. And in the content template, we want to add two fields in here. The first one is status. Now I always find that it's good to add a status field to a task super tag, just because then you can kind of see how the task moves through, um, moves through a process. So uh, just click here um, and configure the, the status to be an options field. And then I'm just going to add three options. So let's say like not started, in progress and complete. All right, so um, the default value for this status is always not started. So what that means is anytime you add in a new task, it's always going to create this status of not started. So every so you don't have to ever worry about the status field. Every task you enter is always not started. And then when you're ready to do it, you just move it to in progress. OK, now the second field that we're going to add here is the due date. OK, um, so we're just going to add a new field and I'm going to call this due date now. This the reason that we we have this date is I, I don't ever use due date fields. I feel like by the time it's due, that's probably in the not the day that you want to do it on. Um, so I always have a due date field. And that means that this is then the date that this task needs to be done on. OK, so if we have a task here, let's say this needs to be done today. OK, and all we're going to do here with this field is actually make it a date field. OK, so click here come up to date and then we're good to go. So when we press date, we get the picker and let's say we want that due today. So now it's really easy to add tasks in throughout the day. So anytime a new task comes up, okay, you just tag it with tasks, open it up. And if you know the date you want to do it on, so you want to push it forward to a certain date, then you just come in here. Let's say I want this to be done on Thursday. And then that's it. So it's really quick and easy to get things out of your head and add them into um, uh, into this system. OK, so the next one that we have is events. OK, so events uh, for the event super tag, we're going to configure that. Come in here 
And all we we just want to add a field in here that is the event date. But we're not going to call it event date. What we're going to do is we're going to use the same field that we used in tasks, our due date field, in the event super tag. And the reason for that is it's going to make it super simple to set up our search on our day page to pull in everything that is relevant to this day. Okay. So how we're going to do that is we're going to add a new field. We're going to type due date. Now you're not going to see it come up immediately. What's going to happen is you're going to go show fields from super tags, and then we're going to choose the one that's in our tasks super tag. So this one here. Okay. Um, and so now if we have an event, Let's say we have this event and it's due today or it, it's on today. We can add that. Okay. And if we have, um, let's say, you know, a meeting, we just add events and then let's say that meeting is on Thursday and now done. Okay. So you can quickly put in tasks, events, and then notes for notes. I don't add any other fields, but you might want to add a field like a category or something like that. So, you know, you always know this is a, you know, this is related to a task or a project or, you know, that kind of thing. What I tend to do is if a note is related to something, I just uh, reference it in the actual note. So let's say this is a note about uh, this meeting here. I would just go at a meeting, select it, and then I know that's already referenced. So if I come into this meeting, I will see it down here in the reference section. So that's kind of how I like to um, add notes is just, just reference things. Um, I find that easier than having different categories and really trying to over complicate things there. And this way of rapid logging really helps you to stay in focus throughout the day on what you are supposed to do. One of the reasons that we um, uh, tend to get distracted or we feel like we can't focus on the things that are in front of us is because there's so much swirling around in our head that we're trying to remember and not forget. Okay. So um, we're like, oh, I can't forget to do that task. And so it's always kind of an open loop in your head. And so what rapid logging does is just allow you to get it out of your head into your trusted system so that you know it's going to show up at some point in the future and you're not going to forget it. And so that really helps me definitely to focus more on the things that I need to do in the day rather than kind of trying to remember the things I have to do in the future. So let's talk then about how to bring things to your attention that you have rapid logged. So there's two different ways that you can bring things back up. Okay. So if we come back in here, the first thing is, um, you can add tasks, events, and notes into your sidebar. So you can always find them again really fast. So the way to do that is just click on the super tag. Okay. That takes you to your super tag page. This is where you're going to find all, all of your tasks. All you have to do is open up your sidebar, um, come into your workspace and then just move this anywhere in here. Okay. So now you've got your tasks. Um, you can then go back. You can do the same thing for events and then the same thing for notes. And so that way you can always easily see them. The other thing you can do um, that, uh, that I, I do tend to do is these can be moved into pinned as well. So you can just move them up here. Um, and so you can always come in um, and I find that easier, especially when the, the sidebar is closed, just to go to pinned notes, events, and then you're here. So that's the first way that you can see everything that you've rapid logged in one container. So your, all your tasks are in one container, all your events in another container, all your notes are in another container, so easy to find. But the other way that we want to find these notes is we actually want them to show up on the day that we have allocated them. Um, and so what this does is, you know, traditionally in a bullet in a bullet journal, you would um, uh, kind of bring things forward. So you'd migrate things forward to the next day. Um, what I tend to do in, in the digital bullet journal is I push things forward to a certain day and then I have a search that finds all the things that I've pushed forward to that day. And so that way you're not kind of rummaging through your tasks and your events and you know trying to find what is relevant to the day, but it just automatically comes up. So let's set that up. So when you are on your day page, uh, just come to your day super tag and uh, right click and press configure. In the content template, open that up. We're going to create a new search. So all we're going to do is shift 
um, or uh, just type the question mark and, and press create search node. Now remember when we uh, created that field in events and tasks that was due date, well, rather than searching for events and tasks, okay, and having an or um, statement in there, all we have to do now because we reuse the same field is we're just gonna search for the field, okay? So anytime the field due date, okay, this one here, um, and we're gonna add parent, okay? So what that's gonna do here is it's gonna find anything that is a due date that is this parent, okay? So because we've got it, um, because we've got it down here, this is the parent. So it's finding anything that has a due date of today. Um, and then let's rename this to today. So if we open this back up, now we can see things that we rapid logged, tasks and events, that we have also added a due date of today, okay? And if we move forward, okay, um, let's say I think Thursday we added some things in, okay? So these are due dates for Thursday, all right? If we go forward, uh, I think Sunday we added something in, um, or maybe it was Saturday, whenever it was. Okay, so we've got a new task here. So now you can really get things out of your mind knowing that they're gonna show up in that today search. Okay, so anything you add in, it's gonna show up there. Now, you might wanna not want it kind of in your main day page section. You can also add it here to your related content. Uh, so if you wanna do that, we'll just close this up. You just can copy this, so Command or Control um, C, okay, today, and then close up your content template, come down to Advanced Options, and we're just gonna add it, I'm just gonna add it to the top here, okay? Um, so you've got today, and then all you wanna do is just go Command K here and go clone reference. And then it's gonna show up here. So if we go back, okay? So every time we have that date in here, it's always gonna show up in today. And this, honestly, is such a great way to just get things out of your head um, and not have to worry about them again. Okay, until the day comes up that they're on. Now, if you like workflows like this, then you are definitely going to love my Tana Fast Track course. It's where I show you how you can build your own personal knowledge management system in Tana. So along with our six core templates, I share five minute workflows like this all the time, so you can pick and choose from them to build your own personal workspace. So I'm gonna leave a link for it in the description below. So the third thing that we wanna do is set up Tana Capture so that we can get things in really easily when we're on the go, okay? So the great thing about a bullet journal is that you might always carry that around and you're obviously not always carrying your laptop around um, to be able to get things in. And so we wanna set up Tana Capture so that it is your, it is your ultimate rapid logging um, place uh, we can get things in so two commands that we want to set up is one auto tag your rapid log entry so that means anytime you rapid log let's say something and you mention that it's a task it's going to automatically add the task super tag in the second thing that we want to do is automatically move everything to the day page so we want to skip the inbox altogether we don't want extra places that we have to process things okay so i tend to not use um, the inbox at all my inbox is literally empty because I prefer it to come into my day page, which is where I work every day. And I find if something's in the inbox, it's out of mind, uh, it was out of my mind. Um, and so I forget to, to actually process it. So um, I prefer to skip the inbox, have everything go to my day page, be automatically tagged, and then I don't have to do any other processing. All right, so let's set that up. So you wanna go to your inbox and then put your cursor anywhere in inbox, and then you're gonna go Command K, and we want to type configure node, okay? Um, what we're looking for is to add the command here to on child added. So that means any new node that is added to the inbox, we're gonna add it in here. So um, we're gonna call this auto tag and move, okay? And then we're gonna convert it to a command node. There's two commands that we wanna add. The first one is the auto tag, the second one will be the move. So um, firstly, we're gonna type at, and we're gonna type insert ton of paste, okay? So what is gonna happen here is before the prompt, we just wanna add another field to the top here, um, which is the node filter. All right, now in node filter, we wanna look for two things. 
Firstly, we want to look for if it's a hash if it has a hashtag um, in the node. Okay, so when you're typing in ton of paste, you know, new task, you'll type hashtag task, and then um, it will find it here. Um, the second thing that we want to search for is we want to add a field called not. Okay, this one here, um, and then we want to go has underscore tag. So if it already has a tag, we don't want it to run this. Um, this particular command, okay? Um, so that's that. Then in the prompt, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type um, uh, dollar sign squiggly bracket name, okay, and then close that up. And then we're going to kind of um, tab in, okay? You want a line and then you want the dollar sign squiggly bracket and this is gonna be sys content, okay? So type that exactly in um, and that's all you need. And what that's gonna do is it's going to um, repaste the the name of your node, so whatever you called your node, with the hashtag, and it's going to find whatever hashtag that is, and then anything that you have um, underneath that, it's going to paste it in. Okay. So once you've done that, the only other thing is we need to add one more field. So put your cursor anywhere in prompt. Press enter. Sorry, at the end of prompt, it's got to be. Press enter. Type a new field, and this is going to be insert output strategy. In this one, we just want replace contents, okay? And that's it. Now, the second thing, the second command that we want to use is a move command. So we're just going to go at move, okay? We're going to add the configuration in here, okay? And the move target that we want, okay? Just click in here, go current day page, okay? Then we want to add a new field, okay? So just enter. Um, and we want this to be remove reference after moving node. So basically it's going to leave no trace of any tags, uh, of any nodes in your inbox. Okay. So you can then rapid log as much as you want, tasks, events, notes. It's going to auto tag them, move them straight to your day page. And then that way you can get things out of your head, whether you are on the road or whether you're at your computer. And that's it. If you're overwhelmed with complicated timer setups and you just want a way to get things out of your head, find focus in your days and get the most important things done, then a bullet journaling system might be for you. And if you do like bullet journaling, I also created another video on how to set up bullet journal collections in Tana that you might want to check out next. So don't forget to hit subscribe if you like Tana and you want more great videos like this in your feed.